Good evening folks and welcome to today's advanced preview. Today we are going to take a look at the, I'm looking up at the sky because apparently that'll tell me the answer. The North Jersey coastline is what we are looking at today. You'd think I'd be better prepared. <laughs> Uh, so North Jersey coastline, uh, it's uh, NJT is the uh, is the branded license. This is all fully licensed content, and it's um, it's really nice. It's really nice. I've actually had my first play about an hour ago. <laughs> so uh, yeah, very very good. Um, so let's have a quick look at an overview of the uh, of the product first, and uh, and then we'll actually get in and do a bit of driving. So. North Jersey coastline, uh, it includes the line starting in the north from um, Penn Station and uh, it also includes Hoboken Terminal. The line, the northeast corridor then continues down to railway and the northeast corridor section is all completely rebuilt. Um, it's, uh, it doesn't borrow anything from the original northeast corridor line so it's right up there with the current standard of uh, route creation. Uh, the line then departs from the Northeast Corridor and heads down an electrified line to Long Beach. Once you get to Long Beach, the line then continues unelectrified, so diesel services only, uh, down to Bay Head. So that is the, uh, the line. Um, and uh, today we're going to be running a passenger service with an F40 PH2 cat from Long Beach to Bay Head. So you can see the, uh, the southern diesel section of the line. Uh, this is an advanced preview, as always, and it's um, this is this is really advanced preview um, because uh, there are a number of things that just aren't there in the in the build that I'm using at the moment. So we're not going to be driving the uh, the other the, the loco that comes with the pack. The F40 PH2 Cat is actually part of the twin pack. So let's let's get to that in a minute though. So product, this is the uh, the this is the the train that actually comes. Uh, in the main route pack when you buy that. This is the ALP45 DP, and DP stands for dual power. The main reason that this train has been included is because it's dual power. It's both electric and a diesel. It's a, it is an electric diesel. So you have the ability at Long Beach to switch off the, um, uh, the panto lower the pantograph, switch on the diesel engine, uh, and then continue your journey um, with the, uh, with the, um, um, <laughs> uh, continue your journey on the diesel engine. Um, so we're going to take a look at the outside of the loco and the cab and so forth, but uh, at the moment there are no sounds particularly on this loco. Uh, but you can do all the diesel power, you can do all the power changeovers on it and, uh, and so forth. So next, the next thing then is the Comet 5 cab car. It also comes with the Comet 4 coaches um, and you can drive from the cab car as well. Uh, both the cab car and the, uh, the locomotives, including the F40PH2 cat, have got in-cab signalling. Um, so you will be able to um, drive with the, uh, the in-cab sounds. So, we're going to be uh, driving with the F40PH2 cat, uh, which I don't have one of these slides for to show you, but we're going to see plenty of it in the game. So, let me fire the game up and, uh, and then we can, uh, we can go ahead and um, take a look soon as the uh, computer wakes up. Come on computer, you can do it, there we go. Right, so you should have audio now. Let me know if anyone has any problems with audio. <coughs> <coughs> so we'll be able to have a look at the F40PH2 CAT uh, and we're gonna be driving that, where, which uh, we are also going to be, uh, we can take a look at the cab car as well, although we won't actually be driving that one. Right, good afternoon engineer. We will be taking a passenger service from Long Beach to Bayhead, stopping at every station along the way. The line ahead is clear and the weather is fine, so there shouldn't be any interruptions to this service. So let's open the doors. So, let's have a look around. First thing you can see down here, we have the in-cab signaling system. Um, which is uh, telling us track speed limit and uh, current permitted speed. Um, got your acknowledge button there, we've got ammeter, so a lot of the usual functionality. We've got uh, instrument lighting and step lighting. We've also got the strobe up here. Let me turn the cab light on, there you go. And you've got the strobe, so you can see the, uh, the strobe flashing away at the top there. Let's have a look around on the outside.
we can turn the strobe off for the time being. Right, so it's time to go. Let's release the brakes. and get moving. We've also got visors and uh, wipers. So as we uh, get our way out of the station, let's just have a quick look. This is the passenger view from one of the Comet 4 cab co uh, from one of the Comet 4 coaches. We'll take another look at the uh, the passenger view as we go down the line. This is the outside, splendidly proudly wearing its uh, NJ Transit logo. Let's take a look at the coaches. And of course at the back of the train we have the cab car. So you can see the cab signalling has uh, woken up and we've got 60 limit green lights so we're all clear to go. When you turn the strobe on you also get the strobe effect on the front. So doing 45 now, let's put the power up a little bit faster. What have we got? We've got 1.3 miles to our first stop. So we'll under underscore this is of course work in progress. Uh, let's take a look at the route, that's what we're here to see besides the loco. So the F40PH2 cat doesn't come with the route as standard, I just want to make that really clear. Uh, that's an, it's an extra DLC for the route. The loco that comes with the route is the ALP45DP. Um, and uh, I'm going to take a look at that one in its current in development status uh, after we've had a quick run with this. Just so you can take a look at, the, uh, at that one where it is right now, but as you can see. So we're down the southern end of the route and we're, and we're heading south. So this is the, the route map. So you've got uh, Penn Station, Hoboken, Terminal, uh, the northeast corridor running down here. And then here at railway the line comes off carries on down, you've got more freight action there. And then as we come down to Long Beach, that's where we become diesel traffic only, and then we get down to Bayhead and the Loop. Came back to the cab just in time to realize I'm about to speed. Oh, I'm about to miss a station as well. Oh, I knew it was a bad time to look at the map. Oh dear. All right. Anyway, so it looks like uh, looks like we have a new one to add to the Nebworth list. That one's gone. We missed that one. Moving on. <clears throat> Is they getting they quitting me? No. <laughs> oh dear, I picked the wrong time to look at the map there, didn't I? Except we seem to be slowing down here. I have a sneaky suspicion that uh, I should, I need to, I, I have a band. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Oh, we are speeding up again. We will carry on then. No, I can't do looking at maps and coaches and things and, uh, and make passenger stops at the same time, unfortunately. But as you can see from the terrain, we're here to look at the route, to be honest. We're not here to watch, look, watch a scenario. That's my excuse. <laughs> this is only the second time I've run this, uh, this route, to be fair. It's 
So, I mean, as with all of the advanced previews, if the stuff that you see that you think could be better, then absolutely let us know, and uh, we'll uh, we really appreciate that feedback. And um, the F40PH2 cat open railer uses the same um, Comet 4 and Comet 5 cab. Now I'm over speeding. Just the problem is the monitor's also far away. It's all a bit too small. <laughs> yeah, I've got all the excuses lined up tonight. Right, we've got a station coming up here, Allenhurst. The good news is we're going to be about on time. <laughs> Really beautiful section down here, isn't it? Quite a different uh, change of tone, actually. As you drive up, uh, as you drive, um, the southern end of the route is obviously a lot quieter. It's a lot more um, sort of outer suburbs type. Uh, whereas, uh, and once you get to the northern side of the route, it's going to get busier and busier and busier until you hit the north co uh, northeast corridor, uh, and then you're going to have uh, a different kind of driving challenge on your hand. Is Jay ripping into me on the chat as well? I can see Jay. I can see you, Jay. <laughs> uh, someone's asked, is there a HEP on the loco? There is indeed HEP. There's um, buttons up here which switch the HEP on and off. That's the stop HEP. That's the start HEP. I'm not entirely sure what functionality that offers at this moment in time, but yes, HEP is definitely looking to be supported. All right. Let's put some brakes on and see if we can't make a stop at this station. Then we can look at doors opening and all that good stuff. I should say, when I first played this one about an hour ago, I did manage to stop at that first station. But, to be fair, I wasn't looking at map views and passenger views and so forth. Coming in nice and slow. HEP, fine, it's called HEP, I'm getting that wrong as well. <laughs> Uh, I don't actually know what the max speed is on the uh, northeast corridor, I must admit. Alright, here we are coming into uh, Allenhurst. We'll take a look around the station once we've stopped. So as you can see, the route really is built to our current sort of best of how we do uh, routes. Right. Picks are off. The power is now applying. Got head out view as usual. Wipers, as I said before. 40 limit at the moment. Next station is Asbury, Asbury Park.
How long is this route? It's about, I think, 60 miles or thereabouts. Unfortunately, this scenario, there aren't really any signals to contend with, which is a good thing, really. So we're heading south, northeast corridor, and uh, New York are behind us, a long way behind us, about uh, probably 40 or 50 miles. <clears throat> right, coming up to Asbury Park now. Tremendous amounts of scenery here. All right, so we're coming along now to uh, into Asbury Station, Asbury Park. Sorry. Uh, this loco, by the way, has the updated braking from Soldier Summit. Not, can't be doing anything too bad. I'm arriving here just about bang on time. Two seconds late, I am going to live with that. So let's, while we're in the, in the uh, station here, we've got a minute, let's switch to the cab car. That one. This is the cab car. We'll have another look at the cab car in a minute. We're going to get going shortly. As you can see, you've got various readouts up there. Brake pressure, cab signalling. All right, let's go back in the cab. Get going. Right. So again, we're on a 40 limit, and our next station is Bradley Beach. We're dangerously close to positive score territory here, folks. I will show the cab car horn uh, when we get to the next station, uh, 131. Trying to drive from the outside here, just so you can get a good feeling for the uh, for the scenery and the route. We're heading south at the moment. Bradley Beach coming up. Right, this is Bradley Beach we're coming up to now. Not a 
great stop, but <laughs> it's a stop. <laughs> Better than the first one, at least. Uh, right, so... This is a view of sort of the surrounding area. All right, let's get moving. Oh, I forgot the cab car horn. We'll do that in a minute. I've got uh, 1.6 miles to Belmar. So if we switch to the cab car. It's blowing the wrong horn. Okay, we'll need to wait until I stop then. Oh, I've left the wipers on, haven't I? Moggy will be most upset. <laughs> right, so speeding up to line limit again, which is still 40. MAS, maximum allowed speed. Which in this case is 40. So the track speed limit always shows up in the middle, and then these are the signal-based speed limits. So if you're familiar with New York, New Haven, you'll see that... Uh, um, there's, uh, it's, it's a similar sort of idea to the signalling, the, the Metro North Star in cab signalling. Right. It's a good idea, pull the lever in the cab. Right, I've got to work out where it is. Sander, lights, acknowledge button. Right, let's get back in the loco, watch what we're doing. Right, here we go, Belmark coming up. Yes, the cab car horn is rather nice, isn't it? So coming up to Belmar, I'm starting to get a bit further behind schedule now. Right, let's see, uh, we'll slow down into Belmar and then we'll take a look at the uh, Platform's just up here. Going a bit slow now. <laughs> Right, as soon as we're parked up in here, I switch to the cab car. Right, that's that working, so let's... Right, we're actually in this. That's the bell. Light. 
Right, ready to go again. We've now got a 60 limit. And our next station is Spring Lake in two miles and a positive score. So far. <laughs> Baseball field. Uh, Sorrento Michael, do the windows open? I'm afraid they don't. At least not that I could. Coming up on 60, we've still got one and a half miles to go. Yeah, Francois, yes I am very chuffed about my positive score. <laughs> I haven't got an expert driving for me like I did last night. Right, coming up to 53. It was it was doing 60. I uh, got all this ground texturing. That's lovely, isn't it? It's, uh, ground texturing really does bring the roots um, the the whole ground up quite a lot. I think. Right. looking at some of the scenery here. For those that are just joining us, we're taking a look at North Jersey Coastline, a, uh, a route that's uh, currently in um, uh, the, uh, the later stages of development. And uh, so the, uh, I'm driving the F40 PH2 CAT, which is uh, one of the, it's the twin pack that's available with it. It's a separate piece of DLC. The coaches are the Comet 4 and Comet 5 cab car and um, they, uh, they come in the base pack along with the uh, ALP 45 DP is the logo that includes in the base pack. Unfortunately the, the ALP 45 isn't really in the best state for me to be able to demo it so that's why we're, uh, I'm showing the, uh, the F40 PH is instead. I am going to show the, um, briefly show the ALP 45 before we finish. Right, this is Spring Lake. Uh, I can't turn the ditch lights on, I'm afraid. I, I haven't worked out how to yet, if I'm being honest. Um, it may be one of the things that's currently in development. Um, I can turn on the uh, strobes at the top. There you go, ditch lights. <laughs> so, uh, one through one said, try key J. You were right, it was G key J.
Right, next station is uh, Manasquan. Manaskan? I'm sure someone will correct me. It's a lot of um, car scrapyards I've noticed along this route so far. <laughs> Apparently, someone's just told me the ditch light switch is apparently is below the dynamic brake lever. Ah, there you go. It's this light. It's this switch down here. So we've got an on position, and then the flash position. There you go. Right, Manaskin's coming up next. Someone said, what's the point, Ted Jolly Blobman says, what's the point in ditch lights? So the ditch lights are pointing down uh, and, and out a bit to the sides. And the idea is that um, the ditch lights are there to make the train more visible at um, grade crossings and uh, anywhere that people not on the track need to be very, very clear they can see the train. So it's just to improve the visibility um, off the side here for grade crossings. So I'd normally be blowing the horn and having the ditch lights going and um, let's face it, I'm having enough problems stopping at stations if I start adding in more complexities. <laughs> right, we're coming in quite late to this station actually. Manus Quan, is that, is that how it's pronounced? Apparently it's required by law that I keep the ditch lights on. My ditch lights are now on. of the platform at this station. Pull forward. just been plunged into darkness again. <laughs> just realised I'm driving with the cat light on. Completely inappropriate. Let's get sped up to that. I've got a light again. Tech support just arrived. Thank you, Jay. So we're limited to 45 at this point by the signalling system. I 
wasn't really a 14L, was it? That was pretty poor for a 14L. <laughs> 14L is a, uh, a long, long, short, long horn blast, which is the, uh, the sequence used on approach to a grade crossing. Got 1.3 miles to Point Pleasant. Got the green light at the bottom. Slowing down to 30. And there went my positive score. Hit this bridge. So we're at a 30 at the moment, but we're going up to a 40 in just a minute. Apparently it's a right bridge, not a draw bridge. <laughs> Alright, we're in the 40. Coming up on Point Pleasant. Dimio is asking when you can get your hands on it. Um, there are no release dates yet for this one, and uh, if, you, if you keep an eye on Engine Driver on Facebook, then you'll be able to uh, get the information as soon as it comes out. This route is, uh, and, the, and the locos indeed, are still very much in development, uh, and this is uh, typical for a first advanced preview. This is really just getting it in front of you so you can take a look, so we can get some feedback from you, and uh, yeah, really appreciate anything that you can. Uh, Anything that you can offer, really. I think this looks stunning, personally. <laughs> so this is Point Pleasant. Someone asked where the last station is. We're heading from Long Beach to Bayhead, so this journey will finish at Bayhead. These double crossing gates don't seem to have taken my train very seriously. Let's just look at the map one more time. So uh, the, the product starts at uh, Penn Station in New York and you follow the Northeast Corridor. You've also got the Hoboken branch down to Hoboken Terminal. Northeast Corridor then continues to railway and then turns off and goes south down the NJT line. At, and this is Long Beach where the electrification finishes. And then you continue the journey um, with um, here we are actually, I think. Um, you continue the, um, uh, the journey down to uh, Bayhead on diesel power. Right. I think I'm just going to look away while the train starts moving. Have a look at these coaches. These are the Comet um, 4 coaches. And this is a Comet 5 cab car. Long Branch, not Long Beach. Apologies. I misread it. Fortunately, the screen is quite a long way away from me to keep it off the camera, and uh, the writing is teeny tiny. 
Right, we're coming up on uh, Bay Head, about three quarters of a mile away. Yes, there is a passenger view. Someone just asked about the passenger. We showed it at the beginning, but let's just have another look. Right, so now coming to our final station at Bayhead. And we ended with a derailment. <laughs> that had to be the end of this scenario, didn't it? Right, let me come off of... Um, I don't know why that was. I must have run. Right, let me set something else up. And we'll go and have a look at the... Um, um, the, the ALP45. That's what we want to have a look at. Um, okay. Have a quick look at the air. We won't be, there's no, like I said, there's no sound on the LP45, so we're just going to really have a look around the loco, the cab, and, uh, and see how we get going. Right, so the game's loading again. So we just took a look at the F40PH2 cat, and uh, I made a total hash of that scenario. But we've seen the, uh, uh, we've had a good look at the, uh, at the loco, we've had a good look at the route. Uh, we've seen the uh, Comet 4 coaches, the Comet 5 cab car. Right, so let's just do that. We're not going to actually run the scenario. This is to have a look at the, um, the ALP 45. This is the loco that actually comes with the uh, with the pack. This is your in cab signalling inside the uh, ALP forty five. Turn the cab light on so we can see. I've not even looked at this one myself yet, so uh, I'm just exploring all the bits I can play with so you can see. Don't ask for the horn, because the uh, <laughs> no sound. Well, the wipers seem to have sound. That's excellent. So that's the cab, secondary, uh, the con uh, conductor's seat. Let's take a look outside. So the ALP45 is a, uh, a dual power uh, unit, which means that as you get down to uh, Long Branch, as I've been corrected, um, you will be able to um, uh, switch this locomotive um, over from um, the electric power to diesel power and then carry on the journey, which does provide in some interesting variations. An ALP45 heading out now. So the, this is uh, we're actually in uh, Newark Penn at the moment. So this is the uh, the coaches, as I said before. This is the uh, Comet Four, and then down the back here we have the Comet Five.
So North Jersey coastline, let's just have a uh, quick look at the, uh, at the map again. So it's, uh, as I said at the beginning, we're starting in the north at New York, New York Pen, uh, Newark Penn, and uh, we've also got Hoboken Terminal. The line continues on the northeast corridor down to Railway, and then the, and so that, all, that whole section is completely rebuilt from scratch, so that's uh, right up with uh, the current standards. So uh, I've seen a couple of people asking if it's been updated. It's been completely rebuilt from, uh, from scratch. At Railway, the line can, turns off to the uh, south and um, continues along the branchway, uh, branch line until you get to Long Branch, and then the line continues down this blue section, which is um, non-electrified, and therefore you need to switch over to diesel power or use a diesel loco to do that journey. Uh, included in the pack, you have the uh, ALP 45DP. We've just had a quick look around the outside in the cab of that one, which is a dual power loco, can support both. And then you get the Comet 4 coaches and the Comet 5 cab car, all drivable with cab signalling. And um, the, uh, then there's a twin pack, which is the F40PH2 cat um, for it as well. Um, so that's basically an overview of the North Jersey coastline. And I think that everybody is asking now for a giveaway, and I think we should do one personally. Um, so... Someone's just suggested a very, very appropriate, uh, uh, very appropriate tag, uh, and that is NJT. So, uh, if you could type NJT, lowercase letters, please, into the uh, cab, uh, into the chat, <laughs> into the chat, and uh, we will, uh, we'll, we'll see who uh, wins, uh, wins a copy. We've got two copies of North Jersey Coast up for grabs. Um, and uh, type in JT into the chat. If you type it in uppercase letters, please retype it again in lowercase letters. It doesn't hurt if you enter more than once accidentally. And uh, in just a moment, I will uh, tell the computer to uh, put its hand in the hat. Give that just another uh, few seconds and then we'll uh, I've seen someone asking, will there be a Comet 4 cab? No, the cab car is the Comet 5 and the coach is a Comet 4. Right. Roll the dice. GJ Dobsey, congratulations, you are our first winner. Um, and now we're going to do it again. What do we have? ALP 45 DP, I think, has to be the uh, the, the, the easy keyword. Uh, ALP 45 DP, all in lowercase letters, please. Um, and no symbols or anything else. And then we'll uh, we'll see who wins the second copy of North Jersey Coast. Congratulations, there, GJ Dobsey. Give that another few seconds and we'll let some more people enter. If you think you've typed it in wrong, please do retype it. It's ALP45DP. Super Alps would like to know how you can type ALP45DP only in lowercase letters. What about the numbers? Well, use lowercase numbers. <laughs> right, Canrail, you are our second winner. Congratulations. So, congratulations to GJ Dobsey and to Canrail. That's uh, very well played. And uh, we'll get in touch with you uh, once the product is released um, via Twitch messaging, and um, you will uh, you'll receive instructions and a, uh, a Steam key, which will then activate that for you, so you can uh, you can uh, enjoy that uh, that route. So let me just give you one more quick overview before we finish. 
Today we've looked at the North Jersey coastline, uh, with the route starting from Newark Penn with a completely rebuilt northeast corridor down to Rahway. Also includes Hoboken Terminal. Uh, the line then proceeds down uh, to Long Beach, Long Branch, sorry, and then on to the uh, non-electrified section to Bay Head. That's the route. Included in the main pack is the uh, North New Jersey Transit ALP 45DP, which is a dual power loco. It's capable of running electric and diesel. And then some rolling stock is the uh, NJT Comet 4 coaches with the NJT Comet 5 cab car. Uh, the cab car is fully drivable. You've got uh, in-cab signaling um, throughout the, uh, the loco and the cab car. And the... Um, um, yes, <laughs> and the twin pack is the uh, F4 EPH2 Cat, um, which you can, which we've just uh, driven a scenario on, not very well. Um, so, I think that's everything we needed to cover. Uh, don't forget, folks, in terms of schedule, Thursdays at 7 p.m. Let me switch back to this. Thursdays at 7 p.m. It is the uh, TS 2016 first look stream over here on the Dovetail channel. And Fridays at 5 p.m. it is the uh, DLC Advanced Preview where we take a look at a DLC that's uh, coming to the end of development and we just want to get it in front of you folks. This, is, as I said previously, is um, not finished yet, which is why some of the bits aren't present uh, or aren't right. But we thought it was a good enough that we wanted to get it in front. We know there's a lot of people been looking forward to NJT um, licensed um, trains and routes. Uh, since the Northeast Corridor was released a long time ago now, and it's really great to finally be able to uh, to show that. Right, so uh, that's it. Thank you very much, everyone, for uh, joining along, and I will um, I will see you on Thursday uh, for the uh, first look stream, and then again on Friday for the next DLC Advanced Preview. Keep an eye on Engine Driver for updates on TS 2016. And keep an eye on both Engine Driver and Facebook for uh, news about streams, releases, and so forth. Thanks very much, everyone, for joining, and I will see you another time. Bye-bye.